Yay. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Fast Talk Live 2021. How are we? Not too bad, not too bad. It's uh, It's been sweaty as balls all week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, Might yeah, it's... Cloud. This is uh, so, yeah, as Joe mentioned before, big, huge thanks to Martin and Marius Quebec for all this setup that you're seeing now. It's bloody huge, thank incredible. You. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Tad says, Hey, lads, in the chat. Hello, Tad, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, we all have a beer. I have, I'm quite kind of cheated, I have a non alcoholic beer. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm representing early. the Irish, I'm up day. early tomorrow, I'm being responsible, you know. Um, but uh, oh, throat's going dry. The nerves are kicking in. Mm. <laughs> I'm representing Sweden, even though nothing to do with them. Even though you're not from Sweden. Yeah. <laughs> Been there once, though. Nice place. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. So what we did for this show, um, last time, I don't know if anyone remembers, we did a little bit of a talky one. But we wanted to do something a bit more interactive that suits this format a little bit, a bit better. So um, in honor of the pandemic... Fuzz Talk Pandemic Edition, uh, you know, don't mention the event and all that. Uh, we decided to lean into that and just think, well, the, you know, the 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 age of uh, presentations and Zoom calls and all that sort of stuff, it's slowly but surely going to come to an end in the next few months or half a year, maybe two years, who knows. Um, so, yeah, we just thought we'd go out with a bang with one final last hurrah of a really shitty slideshow. Um, so... I really hope you have all stretched your cringe muscles because they're about to get a workout. Oh, yeah. Um, Before so, we begin, uh, Slauncher lads. And oh, yes, Slauncher too. Yes. And that is uh, cheers or um, in Irish. So Slauncher with up. Italian beer. <laughs> <laughs> Not even real beer. Um, excellent. Okay, so... Shall we get on with the presentation? Get this over with. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Um, Martin, if you'd be so kind as to. Ooh, see that? Ooh. <laughs> we have tra tra transitions and everything. <laughs> <laughs> let me get let me get my thing all. Oh no, you can see the mouse pointer. The fourth wall is absolutely shattered. Um <laughs> so yeah, we all took turns to do these uh these presentations um and we gave ourselves a little bit of a theme. So um obviously you can interrupt us on any of these hashtags that those hashtag that hashtag works on Mastodon and Twitter. We're at Linux Lads on Twitter and on Mastodon also. So um yeah, just uh, abuse us there. Um so yeah, the theme for our slideshows was our podcasting journey or Odyssey, if you will. So, <laughs> so yeah, it's going to be really hard to keep a straight Camilla. face. Oh yes, yes. Hello, Camilla. Um, without further ado, let's get this over. With. <laughs> let's get the let's get to my one. Oh my god, I hate it so much. <clears throat> Bloody hell! See the mouse pointer again. Sh shattered illusions. <laughs> so, our podcasting journey and all the things we learned. And it all began with this table. And this table, for, just to give you a peek behind the, a peek behind the curtain, uh, where all this magic really happened in the first place. That's Connor's parents' dining room table. <laughs> Do you guys remember that? With the, uh, the yeah, the we, we all gathered around the dining room table. And... Yeah, with the laptop fans blowing straight into the mic and us typing willy-nilly on the table and slamming our hands on the table. <laughs> so, well, uh, some would say that I ran upstairs and I put um, a, a towel down over the table just in oh, the vain, vain hope that like dampen, dampen the background noise. I'll always bring a towel. <laughs> yes, That's true. And true. just this microphone, and I, I put a convenient arrow on this so you would know exactly which microphone I'm referring to. Um, yeah, for the <laughs> so, then I learned what these buttons in Audacity do, because you know learning and goals. <laughs> well, that's that's an allegation that I'm not completely <laughs> sure is truthful, but. Uh, yeah, and I mean, we do still have an RSS feed, so that kind of proves at least something. That I it, it proves you're at least proficient. Yeah, in, well, 
In so- <laughs> Although I do, and I, I do, uh, I can get behind the fact that uh, Vim is uh, better than Emacs. And uh, whilst I'm not, I don't want to die, uh, but this is the hill on which I will say they, that I will die on, I guess. But uh, <laughs> yes, it's okay. uh, it's definitely true. <laughs> don't even at me. <laughs> Yeah, so we all learned something and we all had great adventures. So yeah, thank God. That's the end of my one already. <laughs> so wait until you see the other two, though. Just. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, what did you guys think of my amazing slideshow? It was oh. the truth and the oh, truth no. and nothing but the truth. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, next up is Connor. Um, let's have a look at the chat, though. <laughs> so, someone says that's right really sell this Shane <laughs> <laughs> Marius Quebec says I heart audacity everyone hearts audacity yes yeah well as it ha- I meant to put this in uh, but I, I didn't have time but uh, I did learn ardor in between so ardor is, is better than audacity for some things um, right Connor I'm going to let you introduce your slides uh, so yeah, uh, as Shane was saying on their previous slide, Connor bought a lot of audio equipment. So my way of getting around my hurdles was to see what would work and what didn't work and spent a lot of money in the meantime. Uh, <laughs> but it's all it's all learning. That's what we're here for. So the Blue Yeti, uh, as previously uh, alluded to was what we yes. were all using three lads one yeti <laughs> oh bloody hell my finger slipped whoops my finger slipped uh, <laughs> so but, but many well, of these things i still i still have some of them i sold off but through the, this slide the uh the audio technica st- i still have still here um but it's 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 pretty good it's it's um it's a condenser microphone but uh, the my Troubles happened with the Focusrite uh, Scarlet Solo. Um, everyone was recommending, anyone that I reached out to was saying, get the Scarlet Solo. It just works. It just works in Linux. No. Well, at no. least not for me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys remember all the struggles that I had with that bloody audio interface. Um, so ended up dual booting with Windows, which we'll you'll see uh, later on um, was, that a subtle, was that a subtle hint to go to the next slide <laughs> no go back to the <laughs> all right then <laughs> uh, so the uh the had the the burninger um which as you can see the, all the knobs and whistles i was like i can't be bothered with any of that shit so it still worked but it's uh, so it's nothing against the the audio interface just was taking away too much space on my on my desk so i'm currently on that uh Sennhauser microphone with the Rode AI one, and um, it's it's quite nice, quite neat. So, uh, next slide. Next, okay. I'm gonna see the mouse pointer again. Oh no! <laughs> Dual booting. My adventures in Windows. See, I'm cool. I spelled it. Top, with... top marks for cringy slide, by the way. <laughs> well, the name of the game is "We're All About the Cringe." Um, uh, so yeah, that's Scarlet. Was I did dual boot with Windows, but it wasn't even a good version of Windows. It was the dreaded Windows 8.1, which I had to use uh, Classic Shell and Open Shell with. But uh, for those who are unfamiliar with, uh, with Windows te- Windows 8, sorry, if I said Windows 10 earlier, um, with Windows 8, uh, w- be prepared for the shock on the next slide. Well, oh, yeah, I, just oh, yeah, I wish. Oh, God. <laughs> I just have to say that logo on the previous slide that was a site for sore eyes, uh, for sore eyes, for sore eyes. Or eyes. I mean, lucky we are not at the Harrison because somebody would be running with a hammer towards um, uh, towards the <laughs> towards the big screen at that point. You know, you really know your audience, Connor, by putting this slide in here. <laughs> yeah, I would uh, without a doubt. You know, but they just yeah. give you an idea of the absolute horror that I was going through <laughs> with Windows eight point one. I mean, uh, I can't see that. Any, any, anyone, right? anyone who's in that this version of, of personal hell, uh, I will make one 
uh, recommendation, which is uh, the uh, open shell, which transformed it into the more familiar. This. Yes. So if you're familiar with, with the traditional Windows layout, download open shell and you, you, you get it. But uh, yeah. Oh, and that's not half I, in German. <laughs> but this is not I'm not running Windows so I couldn't it's obviously not from your computer <laughs> oh I mean, lord it, it, uh, anyway um, but yeah that was the hell that was going through um, thankfully I've been on Manjaro for about three years but uh, but uh, yeah that was the hell I was going through in order to get it to work but the the um, setup I have at the moment uh, road audio interface works like a charm so yeah road stuff is always great um next so slide. i've 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 yeah i've i've moved on oh. as you, as you can see uh <laughs> is this the tux is sucking out windows completely oh, unnecessary though, you know? <laughs> Two, it even says 2001 on it oh yeah God. it's so so cringe <laughs> i mean we've all been there right but um i, I think we, we we hard them now and they hard us and it's all good yeah, yeah, it's just fine. <laughs> uh, Patrick, Patrick Fitzgerald in the chat says, what if Windows 11 has a uh, Linux kernel? We won't get into that. Oh, that's a topic for another day. That, yeah. <laughs> so um, we've had quite a few interesting guests. Uh, uh, Philip, who's or Philippe, who's the CEO of CrowdSec. Uh, very yeah. good talk on that. Uh, Nick from the Linux Experiment. Uh, Artyom Zorn, Zorn OS. Um, Martin Wintrest, who's the artist formerly known as the Ubuntu desktop lead. And the wizard uh, that made all of this happen. Uh, Tad, who's in the chat, so you can, if you want to interact with a bona fide uh, podcast guest, Tad's in the, the YouTube chat. Um, yeah. He's, go he's going to be thrilled you mentioned him. <laughs> the uh, guys from the Fedora Project, that was a really good chat. Yeah. And um, some chap named Joe Rez. No, don't know if you know. Yeah, yeah. that lad from earlier, I think. Um, yeah, Joe Van Vich. <laughs> thank you to when we thanked Martin Wimpress See. and, uh, uh, and uh, Mario Quebec. So thank you, Joe, as well. You, Connor, you completely wrecked it by providing actual useful information in your slides. <laughs> I, I, I didn't get the memo. I, I, you know, my, I'm sorry, my slides were not cringy enough. <laughs> The, the, don't worry you can you can be as cringy as us someday if you really try hard um <laughs> i aspire to be as cringy as you too <laughs> so um we're getting through this way faster than we think way faster than we thought we would so um i want to want to see some of those questions or, or insults coming in on the social media um because 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 yeah we we just we just need we need <laughs> we need that energy we need that energy on our on our podcasting journey um and my believe it believe it or not i do have the lights on the reason why it's dark here is because uh the curtains are drawn uh, <laughs> if i had the, those curtains open you would not be able to see me at all <laughs> i i spent quite a while uh figuring out the best way to point the camera so that that window didn't just completely blow out the camera with just white light um yeah H just... hence why the curtains behind me <laughs> so mike mike I, I was i was quite looking forward to your one um oh boy <laughs> it, um Stuart langward said it's spooky connor i'm glad you think so yeah it, it, it keeps this air of air of mystery um so <laughs> mike mike let me know when you want to begin <laughs> well yeah well, let's let's do it now because uh uh, let's uh, let's get uh, to it. Seat, yeah, Joe says so. a white a white web page. So I'm opening up Google. How's that? Oh, <laughs> yes, oh. that's why you should always have uh, uh, what do you call it light team in your oh, computer so that just, your face gets illuminated. Oh, it's the um, best. Yeah, so, so, so um, well, I as uh, the CEO of uh, or CPO uh, or whatever C level executive of the Linux Lex Incorporated podcast. I am here to bring you a uh, more uh, kind of corporate uh, overview and insight into our podcasting journey. You know, the perspective of the C-level suit of, um, if, if you will, 
um, we can kind of take this as a town hall where I explain to you what the whole thing was actually all about. Because if you listened to Connor and Shane, uh, you might have gained the experience, uh, the uh, kind of expectation, or might have thought, based on what they say, that we are producing podcasts when actually we are all trying to uh, enhance shareholder value, obviously. <laughs> which this is why my uh, presentation kind of uh, has got a more uh, official look and feel and is way more professional, which you can see by the use of Clippy, for example, you know, yeah, uh, yeah. time-trusted technology. Uh, it's yeah. been here since 1995, and yeah, it's not Clippy going can anywhere. can help you do anything, yeah. Yes, indeed. And if you mix it with uh, Comic Sans, you have a winning combination that will get you anywhere you want to be. So... Um, uh, my assistant, please. Next slide. Um, so we started, as pointed out in 2018. You uh, might have seen that table on Connor's uh, uh, on Connor's uh, presentation. Or was it Chains? Uh, I think it was. Actually Were you not paying Chains. attention? Chains. Yeah, no, I was. Um, I was busy with other C C level executive uh, just, stuff. You busy know. with important things yeah. yes yeah i don't really have the time uh but anyway basically what i was saying so uh i uh, i can't actually see very well what the presentation is about because it's all, it's all pixelated which i don't understand <laughs> but luckily i have it open here on my secondary monitor you so have committed to memory it. surely <laughs> well uh again i'm way too busy to do that uh so basically uh when you saw the table that Shane was presenting in his presentation, um, that symbolized one very important point. From the beginning, we taken up a startup spirit, which means that we concentrated our assets into uh, well, with efficiency. So what you might see labeled as uh, one Yeti free lads or whatever the expression there was, vulgar as it was, was actually our way of... Uh, concentrating assets, leveraging all the possible, um, uh, you know, uh, perishables and not perishables that we might have as such, and making sure that we take full advantage at the point where it was crucial to preserve our seed capital that uh, we've obtained from, uh, you know, uh, vulture, sorry, um, I meant angel investors. Uh, <laughs> We've uh, we've obviously applied the startup spirit to uh, all workflows, and uh, we've uh, set up agile principles as per our technical background. I'm told from our uh, DevOps team that all uh, all show notes are prepared uh, pre uh, are prepared uh, while standing up and written on the backs of Jira tickets. So, you know that's that's agile for you. It sounds a bit strange, but that's what you ha you have to do at this day and age. Um, also inside a container because, you know, oh, course, everything, everything should be in a container. Yeah. That's why actually yeah. Shane and Connor are not in Dublin as they would have your thing, but they are inside a piano, uh, container somewhere stuck in yeah. the Suez canal somewhere around there. Yeah. 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 Uh, we've, uh, we've obviously actioned, a, a mutually beneficial call up with Apple in order to partake in the RSS uh, iTunes feed. So, so we've, you mean we publish on iTunes? Yes, we've published on iTunes, and uh, by uh, by leveraging our partnership with Apple, obviously, it's a very exclusive club. Uh, uh, it was us, Joe Rogan, then Joe Rogan left, so it's obviously just us. Uh, <laughs> and, he, he couldn't uh, handle it, like... Yeah, he couldn't handle the competition from us, so he went and does his thing on Spotify, where we also are, obviously, because we kind of uh, disseminate everywhere. But uh, uh, but unfortunately, you know, uh, when it comes to the real podcast, the RSS feeds, that's that's just basically us, really. All the other podcasts are, illu are illusions. Um, we've uh, Yeah, okay. Uh, can I get the next slide, please? How many more of these are there? Oh, uh, well, you know, good. That's a great question. I will answer it at due course by the end of the slides when I've actually counted them. Uh, we've had, um, we've obviously had to build a strong online presence uh, where uh, we have to build on some kind of a technology. You know, these days it's all big data, big cloud. And I've asked our DevOps team again, they've evaluated AWS, GCP, and they come with net, uh, they come with uh, NeoCities, 
you know, with their hyper-focused oh, yeah. HTML-based infrastructure. So we built on that uh, for a while anyway. <laughs> and we switched to Ocean because it uh, turns out that you can't make a decent thing if you don't have a custom domain. And if you don't... Uh, and if you don't, uh, if you don't have available any server-side technologies, so doing it all in HTML and JavaScript wasn't fun. I'm told. I just think that maybe the DevOps team didn't take the spirit, startup spirit too strongly because the five a month that we had to spend on the infrastructure since the switch to Digital Ocean, that's something that I had to deduct from their salaries, obviously. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I'd like to have dinner someday, Mike. You know. Well, yes, but then again, who would you be dining with apart from Connor? And everybody knows that all you want is just takeaways. So that's what we are feeding that, feeding you that in the Suez Canal, in that container. Um, so It's all about the Chinese takeaway. Yes, although it might be a bit delayed because I'm hearing that they didn't clear up the, the queue from the, from the Evergreen yet. So you might still be... A, a bit delayed with your dinner, but weeks. <laughs> you know, I, I I urge you to stick to the company philosophy. You know, to uh, leverage your affiliations and mm. uh, really endure any famine or hunger that you might have. That yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Um, Mario says not enough use of Comic Sans in the slides. What do you have to say for that? Well, you know, good things come in small quantities. Mm. And that's what I always say to everybody who asks a question that yeah. needs that kind of an mm. answer, which surprisingly we, uh, often turns up to be the case. <laughs> can we, can, all right, let's let's move on, and I I, I hope hope to see some clip art. <laughs> well, uh, uh, yes. So so as you can see, we built a very graphically strong presence in there. Uh, that uh, that was uh, you know uh, first on Neo Cities, then we switched to DigitalOcean. You can actually switch to the next uh, uh, next slide, Sharon, Sharon, Shane, Shane, Shane. Sorry, Shane. You can. It's okay. Either uh, one. Switch to the next slide, please. Yeah, uh, yeah. I know you are not discriminating. You you are an all inclusive personality. So you please embrace oh, your all. You embrace your em embrace your um, inner Sharon, and uh, <laughs> we will we will live with that. Um, so we've obviously once we had the website and once all the once we had all the backend done, we had to think about marketing strategies. Now that's something that that without which you cannot live as an enterprise. You know, we could have all the investment, all the tech stack at the back as we as we could have, but without marketing, we'd be nothing, absolutely nothing. So we've this we've uh, viabilized it by sustained frontal effort on everyone's senses with the combination of blue, black, white, and the use of the Terminus TTF font, uh, which is a guerrilla marketing tactic as such, you could say. Uh, but it translated into solid enterprise style deliverables, where we basically, with in tremendous effort, gained followers on Twitter, which is obviously talking of which, Sharon, please, next slide there. Uh, our social media department outdone themselves and ejaculated our brand to every corner of the internet universe. You know, I, I can't emphasize how strong of an ejaculation this was. Uh, now, also, this went into the multiverse. So whatever was left over from the universe went to the multiverse. So now... The next stage deliverable that we gained this way uh, was um, uh, we have followers on Mastodon, which uh, you know if you are if you are following this and you are on Mastodon, this is uh, you are the product of second stage uh, ejaculation. Um, I would like to I would like to personally show my appreciation for the effort. Of our marketing department, and please, Connor, stand up. You are receiving the effort of uh, the employee of the month for all your um, for all your uh, effort in the marketing de yeah. department. Lovely T-shirt, yeah. by the way. Lovely T-shirt. Nice A bit inappropriate for this kind of town hall, but mm. we live with that. Uh, your donuts are on the way. Unfortunately, again, stuck in the long queue behind you in the Suez Canal. Um, so. Uh, you can see that we we not only promoted online, we also went offline. Uh, we also went into the real world. Uh, we had a strong marketing presence at Occam 2018, and uh, we 
talk to a lot of people. There was a lot of networking going on, you know, we're leveraging synergies across silos, all that kind of stuff that uh, resulted in in a strong in the strengthening the Linux Lads brand all over the place, basically. Would would um, you say we siphoned from a data lake into our various silos? That's an amazing quote. Can I just borrow that, please? That, no. that is. I think I'm gonna call my. Uh, you know, when I when I uh, write my autobiography at the age of forty next year, I am going to call it that. Uh, I, I don't remember it. You're gonna have to send it to me, but uh, please do. Uh, now, if I can have next slide, Sharon, please. Uh, right. Okay. So uh, we've also uh, we've also have to uh, invest, unfortunately, I know. Um, shareholders weren't too happy when we started investing on top-notch uh, equipment and merchandise, but you have to spend to make money. Unfortunately, this is how it is in this day and age. So we've, uh, with, the, with the seed, seed money that we received, uh, we've uh, invested into of high profile, high performance, soundproofing studio equipment. You can see that in the bottom, mm. uh, bottom right corner. Yeah, uh, that's uh, that work. And actually, above it in the bottom, uh, in the top right corner, you can see it working within the like kind of environment of the studio. In, it brought in situ, if you will. In situ, exactly. Yes. Uh, so this was basically. Uh, that that was at that time that was as good as you can get you know that was us and uh, um, you know put the name of your very well equipped celebrity who does recording here i don't know any of these people only really care uh, so that was one investment another layer of investment obviously was as connor pointed out into uh, the tech we had ups and downs with the recording technology you know connor went slightly over budget uh, you know purchasing one microphone slightly. and audio difference yeah one after another we had to get out of gallery he'll be in it up off till probably 2050 but it's okay you know you live and learn as long as it's not my money, I don't give a toss. Anyway, so uh, basically, uh, we've also, uh, uh, what my marketing tel team tells me, uh, invested into Ming Dynasty Linux Lads Max, which were uh, delivered mm. straight from ancient China. You know, it is it is superior merchandise that you can only from yeah. us, you can only from us get. They had to destroy and, uh, and uh, antique uh, pottery in order to make these. Yeah. Well, you know, you have to, you cannot stand in the way of progress. I Nothing but the best. The time. Yeah, you have to, you know, when you have, when you have the Linux Lutz brands, it's so strong that it smashes everything else around it. It's like a nuclear bomb, you know, so mm. unfortunately, yeah. So, uh, no expense yeah. spared. No expense spared, no people spared, yeah. you know, no Just nothing Just like Jurassic spared. Park. Yes, uh, that's a bit of an unfortunate analogy there, Sharon. I would rather you, uh, you know, something something a bit more, uh, with, uh, something that captures our optimistic message a bit more strongly. You oh, know, okay. like so, uh, Jurassic Park. Even the, the movies the, were the, shite. So, the dinosaurs so that, were happy, I'm sure. Until they got shot or whatever happened to them. Uh, you know, that's that's not the message. I, I, think, I think there was a volcano was, involved, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. You see, maybe maybe we can move past that. For, okay. You know, childish fascination with uh, with uh, dinosaurs, for which my wife tells me mm. you have to have a second second Y chromosome or whatever to, mm. to be able to understand. Maybe we can move past that, and we can uh, we can possibly send a I, different message. I guess so I don't really Jurassic want us Park. to have another Jurassic Park related argument. So, okay. All right. Okay. Well, uh, next slide, Sharon. There, please. Oh. Right. So no so one can this, read this text. No one can read this test. Oh, that's but <laughs> I mean it, it's clear enough for me. I hope people can read it. Or are you just were you just reading from the chat? Well, I suppose I can't read the text, but okay. I'm I'm looking at it on a very tiny <laughs> screen down here. Um yeah, Shane is the embodiment of every single person. So if Shane can't read it, <laughs> nobody can read it. Yes. Yeah. Uh so I would like to I would like to uh now oh, there's the clip in, art. You know when you know when I said that we slowly built up from 2018 uh, over the time we kind of slowly built up uh, the technologies, the visual, uh, the visual message, the, the, the all, all the other messages, everything, the marketing channel. Then late 2019 came and we disrupted a lot. Like 
like I'm not even kidding. We went full Tesla on that shit, right? So basically, uh, we we took a uh, visual identity and blasted it. You know, kabloom, kazam, kaching mm -hmm. as well. You know, because what we got is much better. So, so from that followed our our new website look. We got new merchandise. You know, everything went ev oh, new Telegram. So, so we went from that one small seat. We went all the way to to basically spread it to everywhere on everything. Uh, yes, all so over the place. Uh, mm. all over the place. Yeah, and this is basically uh, our graphics department, graphics design department. Also, uh, well, that that's where it started with Shane's effort to. Uh, to improve our visual message, and for that, please, Shane, stand up. Yeah, yeah. See, I I took the time to actually get a T-shirt. So, just, yes, just okay. saying, I think that yeah. So I'm going to stand. You're looking at wear yeah. war trousers today. So, uh, well, yes, I guess that's the luck for everybody. Thank you very much. You also are getting the employee of the month, uh, employee of the month award for this and for everything uh, that came of it. So, so yes, your donuts are also stuck somewhere in the Indian Ocean or whatever. Um, but this, this is what we what we based our new visual message on, and uh, we uh, we uh, didn't hold back. As I said, uh, we took uh, we took um, you know we take improving shareholders value as our as our core competency and whilst we disrupted everything else that obviously still stands so this whole thing is wrapping up the core message of the linux less incorporated podcast to to really deliver top class dollar to the people who expect it so so thank you shane you are serving a noble cause i would also mm -hmm. say that uh, i know it, in that, in the late, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. In the late 2020, uh, we've doubled our, uh, you know, and this is part of our very strong and very heartily felt diversity message. Uh, we have acquired our second feline executive. So uh, uh, the first one being uh, uh, Lily, Shane's cat. Uh, the second one you can see in the top, uh, to, uh, sorry, bottom right corner in that slide is uh, Luna who now uh, obviously is serving on the board with me and Lily. And uh, yes, they are slowly. Me and Connor don't on. even have a seat. No, 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 no. no. The, it's the just fucking me cats have a seat and we don't. We're, we're stuck in the Suez Canal. Yes, exactly. That's that's how, how, how would you, how would you um, do it otherwise? I, I mean, you I know, guess I can't argue with that. Yeah, exactly. You know, the cats just don't do anything. I, so I can do whatever I, I, I want. However, I, I guess we should be thankful when our donuts eventually arrive. Yes, indeed. That that uh, that is the mess. This is exactly, you know, the, the kind of attitude that I value so much in you guys, and that's mm. that's why we are such a great uh, group of people. That's why we work so well together. You know, yeah. you with that attitude, and I with the big ideas and everything. It's it's amazing. It, it works so well, um, and yeah. So so basically, we've. Uh, We've to, we've done all this. Now that was like 2019. Now, obviously, as a good chief executive, I'm always trying to see where we are, where we are headed. So I did ask our R and D department to modelize this for me. So, you know, to, to to provide a simple visualization of where we started, where we are going. You know, in the form of a chart, perhaps. So, share on next slide, please. Yeah. So uh, this is our up to the minute data right here. Yes, this is up to the minute, yeah. you know, time scale data uh, that mm. that is showing you that we are heading upwards in all directions, and uh, yeah, you can see it going up. Uh, um, yeah. a, a, not a huge central thrust in the right direction. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We, our brand has now the elevation and the wide the range of dispersion that we need uh, to basically mm. keep the boner going. Really. Uh, so, so this is how we increase shareholder value. I uh, I hope it's all clear to everybody. Um, there is one more slide that will show. So this is where we are, where we are going in kind of the tactics thing, but where we are strategically, you know, share, share on the next slide, please. Okay. That's it, more yeah. blockchain. So this oh, is, yeah. you know, a blockchain has been uh, steadily going somewhere. We want to join it on the journey. 
don't know exactly mm -hmm. where it goes, but you know, mm. uh, we just put it here because more seed capital going our way. It's still the truth. You know, in 2021, you still get more money when you take blockchain. So this is why it's there. Yeah, we are going to issue an NFT, which uh, I'm told is a non-fuckable token, uh, which means that nobody can fuck with us. I'm all in support of that. I want us to be invincible and. Yeah, it's the over in this day and age doing that. So you can expect us on blockchain. Uh, not exactly sure what that means, but we'll be there. You mm -hmm. can uh, exact expect us uh, to be uh, with non function you know, you, you know, in the cryptocurrency next door. You cannot the, expect to fuck with us. In the crypto space, the blockchain exactly, space. Yeah. So yeah. thank you very much. I thought I'd be uh, I thought I'd be uh, taking questions, but unfortunately, I have a squash thing that I have to go to. So I'll to do <laughs> <laughs> So yes, um, as someone said in the chat, um, I think you deserve an award for keeping a straight face. Yeah, yeah, well done, Mike. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Well, yeah, he, that, that's uh, why. That's why he's the C level exec. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I can, I can, I can basically just uh, keep chatting shit till uh, everybody else dies of uh, ear diarrhea. But uh, that's all right. Yeah, is that even a thing, ear diarrhea? Well, it is now, isn't it? Uh, well, it is now that you have said it. Yeah. <laughs> TM. Well, TM. Yeah, it, it, it just works. <laughs> so that that um, we're very sorry about all that, everybody. Um, <laughs> Not so, really. Uh, so uh, we can go back to just the three heads, Martin. Yeah, look. Oh, look at that. Yeah, oh, that's the, my favorite thing. Um, so um, yeah, that was our wonderful presentation from our CPO, uh, C3PO, because he's got three P's in there. I think um, I don't know what they stand for. So he's not a CEO; he's a C3PO. Um, yeah, that was his amazing presentation on Linux Lads Inc. and our direction, and it was also way longer than our slideshows. Um, so that's not really being a team player now, is it, Mike? I'm, I'm always a team player. I have, you know, I, I like watching teams play and, uh, I could do that all the time. And then, uh, hopefully when the play they perform brings me some kind of, um, advantage or gain, I'm all for that, mm. you know, uh, hard labor. I'm all for hard labor. I can watch it all day and night. So, um, uh, you could watch, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Much hard labor all, all day. Uh, so we've got 10 minutes to spare. So that actually wrapped up um, within a reasonable time frame. So we have 10 minutes. So I think what we'll do is just respond to uh, being flamed in the chat. Um, so to repeat, uh, it's Fast Talk Lads uh, is the hashtag on Twitter and uh, Mastodon and or just at us at those various social yeah. Channels. So um, the the uh, the the hashtag has been used zero times. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to improve our uh, social media message there. <laughs> <laughs> we need to synerg synergize something somewhere. Yeah, maybe uh, one, oh, one, uh, one uh, more uh, stage of ejaculation, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It's, it's, it's all about the synergy of the verticals across the silos. Yes, the verticals. I forgot about the verticals. You forgot there was not a not a single vertical in there. And yeah, I was expecting I, to see at least one bar graph. Yes. Uh, well, no, we got, next time, next next first talk, I will make it all about verticals. You know, you can say that uh, the, the the chart was vertical, uh, <laughs> as it was. Point. That's that's true. <laughs> oh Lord, um, I'm going to go back back through the chat because I saw some really <laughs> funny comments as we were doing um, that. Um, Patrick Fitzgerald said that chart was the. The parts of the entire presentation. So I'm glad you find <laughs> that entertaining, Patrick. <laughs> yes, I'm. I'm. I'm glad it didn't. Uh, I. I was in. Sh not sure if that's uh, mm. that uh, was the, appropriate for this the event. the chats. The chats. The cats went down the treat. Uh, there's a lot of cat emojis. Um, everyone loves the chat. The cats. No more beer for Connor. Yeah, I just I didn't uh, I didn't get to include a picture of my cat, so I'm very sorry about that, everybody, because my cat's amazing. <laughs> every cat everyone thinks amazing. that about their own cat yeah well i mean my is more amazing obviously but every cat is amazing 
That's why they are the executives and you're not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Maris Quebec uh, asks, is that a real plant behind Shane? Yes. Thank you for noticing. Is that real cannabis or are you just pretending? <laughs> I don't yes, know. Yes, I, I have, a, I have, a, a, I have a grow operation in, in my office on a table behind my webcam. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that could lead to some interesting. Uh, if you use this, and yeah. my if, if any, if any of the guards she Connor are, are are watching, he's not serious. <laughs> yeah, uh, we can't see Connor's underpants on the radiator this time. Joe's not happy. I mean, that's a really weird fetish, fetish to have, you know. That's uh, um, I, I no, can show you the radiator, but there's no. I can confirm there's no underpants on it. <laughs> Well, that's not trying very hard. Um, Anything else? Sorry, not sorry. Yeah, that about sums it up. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, ge- Stop dinosaur genocide. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is this is bloody fun. I could look at this chat all day. Um, underperformance. I wonder what the un- underperformance. Uh, in that, ch- so Shane Darling says, looks like underperformance to me. I wonder what it was. Uh, maybe we can improve on that. Um, uh, it looks like underwear performance from bring it up at the next board meeting, I suppose. Does yes. anyone have any questions? Go on, you know, you want to. We've got five minutes left. Okay, live streaming setting. Well, I, I think what we can say that if nobody asks any question, then we'll just go through the presentations again. That yeah, I think they need to see accept. it one more time. What do you think? <laughs> yes, indeed. Like, you know, uh, in lieu of electrocution, this will do. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, oh, a real question from Rachel. Um, so for real, if I'm interested in Linux audio, is Focusrite awful to work with, Connor? Um, I can only speak from my own experience. I've heard mixed uh experiences some people s- swear by them and say that they're they're fine just plug and play for me um i had to rely on their windows drivers um it it worked intermittently sometimes i would boot um at the time it was um ubuntu lts i was using at the time um i would boot up and it would work it would be detected and other times it wouldn't um and it would be intermittent requiring a reboot which obviously isn't convenient if you're podcasting and um, so for me it was hit or miss some people swear by them and say they're very reliable and um, it could be that they have multiple suppliers for their internal components and i had one of them that only seemed to work with their official windows driver so in short uh, hit or miss. Uh, I didn't have the best r- results with it. The, w- the one that I got was the Rode AI1. It's about a hundred euro. Um, I believe it's available on Amazon or Tomon.de if you're um, in Europe. Uh, it's about a hundred euro or thereabouts. Um, maybe slightly more. Um, certainly less than 120. Mm. And it was just plug and play worked. They do not claim to have any Linux support, but on their website they say uh, driverless support with Windows. So I imagine they're they're um, being quite good with their internals, and it just plugs in. It's um, mm. a, a Type C connector for both power and connecting to your PC. So it's just the one cable, which is nice. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention about the that Berger was another reason why I didn't like it is because it had separate USB and separate power. It wasn't USB bus powered. Um, so that's annoying with the uh, faffing around with cables around the back, whereas it's nice to have a nice, simple uh, unit. Oh. So the Rode AI one is one I would recommend. We've got a couple more questions there. Um, so Damien Price asked, uh, probably been asked before, but how and when did you meet and then come up with the idea for the podcast? So the idea for the podcast, I can't take any credit for. That was Mike and Connor. Uh, uh, they were, they were actually, uh, or well, the two of you were there. I wasn't there. You just approached me with the idea <laughs> afterwards. And I was like, oh, OK. And <laughs> and uh, yeah, so so they 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 had that idea while drinking, I think. 
um, as you can yes. tell. And uh, uh, many good idea comes comes from growing your drinking. Now, my recall of that was well, we met through the Linux meetups in Dublin, basically. Yeah, we we uh, a, a few of us are involved in our local Linux uh, user group, um, so we we're regular attending, having these kind of discussions about Linux. What are you guys running? What are, what distros do you run? What what do you like about them? And invariably, those uh, meetings would ro- mm. uh, fall into the pub afterwards. And over a couple of beers, we're like, hold on, this is actually a pretty good chat. What if we recorded this chat that we're having, and then that's where it and started off. Forced other people to listen to it. Um, <laughs> so someone else asked a question there. What would what would you say? To, interesting, actually. What would you say to someone who never listened to your podcast to convince them to have a go at listening to it? I would say don't. Um, <laughs> yes, but, <they're> gone. <laughs> uh, uh, I would I I would say if you like listening to like three people um, talk, then yeah, sure. But <laughs> oh, wait to sell it there, Shane. Uh, no, I would say if you don't want to, if you don't want a Linux podcast that's too serious and too about like the nitty gritty of Linux, and you just want to hear three people who enjoy using it and uh, have a passion for it, but don't necessarily, uh, not necessarily in a professional kind of sense, like you're not a sysadmin or something, you're just a hobbyist or something, then I think our podcast is for you. I would say if you kind of want Linux podcasts, it's a bit like um, Top Gear, but without the knowledge about cars or anything, really. Um, or knowledge about anything. Yeah, just uh, <laughs> three mm, medium funny idiots talking about shite. Uh, and then this is for you, really. We don't that's have a, the... A, and uh, we occasionally mention Linux. Yeah, Far better do, way of ex- describing it than I would. What, what we do have, though, is... Uh, Sometimes we get real lucky and we get some interesting guests on. So in that case, you know, uh, then it's uh, then it's definitely worth listening to. We usually mm. announce it on Twitter. I, so I, I will echo that point. We've actually been quite lucky about the guests that we've been on uh, that we've been on that ha- have been on our the podcast. So um, mm. uh, it's been a journey. Um, obviously, we we're quite rusty because it was a very first podcast at the very start. Um, but uh, we've been doing it for a couple of years now, and not saying that we're good, but we're certainly better than we started. And it's it's <laughs> it's all it's all, all it's all uh, a journey, it's all a learning experience. So you kind of if you start from the beginning to the end, which we do not recommend, um, you would join us on the journey as we get better um, and yeah. we get more used to this. Yeah, don't, 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 don't listen to like anything from like more than two years ago. Just, yeah, don't listen don't worry to the about first that. season. Um, we actually should take it off the internet. I don't know why it's still there. Um, uh, I think that's our time, um, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Is it or is it? Uh, uh, it very tan, very says on that bombshell. On that bombshell, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, as as I understood it, we there was ten minutes to let everyone go have a wee and get a beer and. Uh, yeah, yeah. Joe just said, "Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> go, go, go so, off." So yeah. enjoy your enjoy your wee, enjoy your beer, um, uh, or your smoke, or whatever you're going to have right now. Um, thank you for suffering through this abomination, and we loved making it, and we hope you loved watching it. Um, uh, I'm Shane. That's Mike and Connor, and uh, obviously we all big thank you to Joe and big thank Martin you to Maria, Marius and. Uh, martin for for setting all this up they've done fucking trojan work do, doing all this like it's unreal so um yeah so a bula bus for them <laughs> uh, <laughs> the best anyway. podcast in the world yeah let's not go nuts right. <laughs> All right. Oh, and obviously hello to all the other podcasts that are coming on later late night linux ubuntu voltage the new show i hope they all have a good show also yeah, from now on, the show is going to be good, basically. Mm. <laughs> are we still there? I mean, uh, yeah. yeah. Yes. We are. Possible. We're waiting for them to cut us off. Yeah, I'm just, they are just waiting for us.